Hello, my woman. We're doing our spell slang that's actually new for once. We're doing Russian Roulette Vivian. Call it Russian Roulette because the deck I'm using is very questionable. And it's random if it's good and it's random if it's crap. Not to mention, every time I use the ability, I could either get like a 2-2 a, like a, a or I get like reach of the creature that's flying. So. Could get really busted upgrades, could get crappy upgrades. It's just Russian roulette. I don't like that against Rosco. Because it, it seems it's a lot easier for Rosco to get out big stat creatures than me, like consistent big stat creatures. Listen to nature. Like, Ross can get out her, uh, her mammoths and her pred uh, oozes. That's what comes to mind when I think big stat. Ah, nah, I'm doing that. Strength in <laughs> wow. See, I could give it 2 1. Or I could just make an absolute bomb to get it becomes a 3 3 and it's like, nah. That's the speed. I feel like just nuking the field with a predator ooze is better than getting a, a four, three predator ooze. Just because it will scale itself anyway, and haste is just nice, just like. For example, oh, that sucks. Wait, I'll play Venom March first. Then I use the ability Russian Roulette. Oh, well, no, yeah, I'm give that to the predator ooze, and it literally becomes a four, three, well, five, four. And has the haste anyway. Look at me, mate. Russian roulette. Or I could make two, three, three, two creatures. But I just feel like a a five four predator ooze is just better. Seeing as like for I think at least two turns, if I'm lucky-ish, I won't have the problem of it being like I turn to stone flake and foul and possible wrong turn, but. I think wrong turn kind of died out the second that everyone started using it. It was decent on paper until you realised it was. It got reduced by three this turn. Well, it was good on paper up until Ashok, really. So Ashok was still good. You could run that in a school of the wizard deck, and it would be a, a removal that also triggers that. Like you draw it can be a that can be a good removal, or it could trigger like school of the wizard. Uh, 5 4 Predator Ooze in the field, man. It's a massive bomb. And I, oh yeah, I added the, uh, the Outlander. Just because I feel like if it flips, which I doubt it's ever going to do, but just the possibility that it flips, it gives everyone in the field an, an upgrade. And I got Mobile Armories and stuff like that in the deck. And obviously Briar Fox, because that, that card can be madness. Yeah, so this is either going to get flagrant fouled or uh, there's not much else that can kill it to be fair. Hmm. Flagrant foul. What else mm -hmm. is. I don't think they added much new under four. Oh, Smite. But yeah, you won't have Smite, so. Yep. Grudge Mat? No. No, there's. Grudge Match and. Uh, what's it called? Giant Growth for Doom in. I'm taking the damage, man. I, ain't, I don't want to give you mammoths and crap. That's when I start losing. Who shall ah, well. Next? Is there a way to give my already on the field predator ooze? <laughs> One more attack. See, yeah, that's very strong. Tasty morsel and rascal deck is kind of scary. Well, it was extremely scary. Well, you're good, ain't you, mate? Just have to wait five turns. Did I put an upgrade with Briar Fox? Yeah, I was kind of hoping for armor. It's a shame that I'm going to be taking a lot of damage to this guy. Like, a lot. Okay, no, that's a madness. Never mind. Sweet. <laughs> what? Oh, has he got like a fully heal? 
Ungrashim so. Or did he just deem that too big to let live? Yeah, he probably just deemed it too big to let live. I don't mind reset, re resetting, restarting the count. I want to do a like an, an giant or Drizz deck that's or a complete rush with Oath of Paladin. I, I've made it, <laughs> funny enough, but I want to do like a uh, like a full rush one instead of doing like a I guess kind of slow moving one. I've got like elements of rush and slow scaling mix in there, but I want to do a hard like everything under four mana type deck because I feel like that could work out quite well. That is completely foregoing, like Drizz. Unless we talk about, well, actually, to be fair, we that's actually interesting. Yeah, I might make that. We'll see how Drizz works with that. Now that is very, very interesting. Well, obviously, he's gonna. Get, I could play this in a five-five haste, or I could. Ah, eh, I'm a gambling man. Fucking gambling, ruins people's lives. So, just gonna put out an upgrade. Hopefully, it's not like fucking. I don't even know what could piss me off. Uh, ward, I guess. Reach. Yeah, so if it's ward or reach. What other useless keywords are there? Spell it, to be fair. Oh, okay, if it gets haste, like that's got haste. Ward or reach. Oh, not so much ward. Ward actually is decent, because this is a kind of. Scary card if you can't get it off the field when it flips. It can turn normal creatures into like fret frets pretty easily. Ah, uh, do I play Is there a point in getting rid of an armor creature? I mean they're chumpers, but they don't have much power attack, so yeah, why not? I don't I, I feel like to the point when I actually have to chump is the point when Rush is gonna have like trample shit on the field. And like stuff that actually would hurt me. The best part about Predator Ooze is it doesn't immediately summon its clone, it's after combat. So if, if Predator Ooze dies during the block, it will summon another Predator Ooze in the Predator Ooze's place, so you don't have to keep one space on the board free just in case they block. It's by far my favourite thing about Predator Ooze. Well, my least favourite and most favourite. Because imagine, man, Predator... Ah, well, he, he's gone now. You shall be missed. I should. Play, I want to play Reclamation. That I want to make a a deck that 100% gets out Predator Ooze somehow, and just keeps it alive for the rest of the game. Like a a Liliana deck, but not focused on zombies. Just focused on Predator Ooze. Well, he's he's doomed my Briar Fox, which is unfortunate. I'm just gonna tank the damage. Well, I mean, I'll jump it. I don't. Alright, we'll see. What, we we'll see what the upgrade is. Hey. Well, like I said, useless. I swear, it used to have three charges. I expect this to die, so I'm probably gonna give it to him. Ah, uh -huh, funny. Actually. Yeah, I could have given it like a sneak turn on that, but you know. I'm just expecting him to target Beast Bonder, like block, do that block. Well, it appears that he actually has to block that, that, which is really nice. So, yeah, that actually, damn. If I gave uh, Beast Bonder like some HP, that would be a very tough decision for him. It's like take seven damage or get a Beast Bonder off the field. I choose it anyway, damn. I, I am such a Then <laughs> you completely forgot the sign's got wound on it. And I was like, oh yeah, look. He doesn't want to do a crappy trade like that because it's just going to heal next turn. <laughs> 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 
Should've gone with Specs Savings. Do you remember adverts? I fucking, like, the TV advertisements. Is that what... Advert? Advertisements? Eh. Yeah. I think that's what advert is short for. Advertisement? But advertisements doesn't sound right. It is our duty to Advertise I? Oh, well. Oh, you know, like, the, cr the stupid ones where it's like, uh, this guy carries a big, like, a delivery driver carries a big ass parcel up this big ass flight of stairs. And he's like, uh, oh, yeah, wrong block, mate, sorry. I'm like, how the fu- what, what? How is his spec savers? The correlations they make is a madness. Okay, look, armor, nice. No such thing as a lone wolf. Yeah, no such thing as a lone wolf, mate. Yes, I'll give it haste. Or I'll give it armor, that actually works out pretty well, too. <laughs> Of all things, bro, you had to give me the slowest, unhelpfulest. It's definitely, not, definitely a word thing. I feel like winning next turn. It depends what he summons. If he summons stuff that can block me, right? Okay. So if he summons two more chumpers, so I send him out. He has to block him. And him, and the other two, be on maybe three threes. Well, three four in that case. But has that been do? So here's a question: Does flipping a creature get rid of its doom? I am very intrigued to find out. So let's do so. Show them your teeth. For science. Even if, to be fair, even if it does flip, it gives uh, a nice buff to the. Like, even if it does die, it gives a nice buff to the entire field anyway, so. It's worth flipping. Does it get rid of it? Some nice buffs it's given out. Especially that trample. Because that actually was a decent. Oh, what's your charm? Oh. oh my god, my brain actually is fucking mega. Oh, honestly, cast me a mega mind. Dude, that, that needs a live action. I think it'd just be pretty funny to see like who would play it. Tom Cruise, yeah. Tom Cruise, a big head. Now nah, Daniel Radcliffe, bro. Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> I think David Tennant. I'm just actually, I'm spitballing. That'd be sick, man. David Tennant with a big R blue head. You, my friend, are getting chumped. But chumped in a way that your place. you've got low HP. And I chumped in a way that I win. Oh, never mind. Bastard. I feel like winning. If it, if it gives me haste. Okay, I'll very much take that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this card is so underrated. I don't see it. No, I think I've seen it once and I was like, this card's sick. And put it in my decks. Oh, that's a nice tele telekinetic card. Oh, look at that. Ooh, babe. Russian roulette. Oh. If you'd ignore my earlier platicism. Then this actually would be decent content. We start a poll: Daniel Radcliffe for Mega Mind, oh, and also Mega Mind for live action. We have to get there first. Baby steps, baby steps. I, I just feel like Daniel Radcliffe would, would be the person to play a uh, Mega Mind. You know, just suits him. Like, you played Harry Potter, and I think Harry Potter's a neat <laughs> I think Harry Potter's more on the nerdy side, and he, he manages to do roles that is like, awkward billionaire something-something. He's played that like that character twice now, to my knowledge, and now you see me too, and in The Lost City. So I think he would, he would do an awkward, smart, uh, I guess socially inept, Donnie? That's what he called him. I heard the stadium needs wrecking. In about the Donny part, but 
See, now this puts me in a very tough position. Because since Nihiri goes first, it hurts to waste an entire turn putting on just one of, uh, just one of Vivian, Vivian, Liliana, wait, what, who am I? What's your name? Vivian, yeah, to put on one of Vivian's, uh, right, her upgrades, so to, okay, I mean, that doesn't hurt as much, I'd be taking four damage. I'm a gambling man. Strength in numbers. Of all creatures to draw. Okay. Well. Now, see, that's that's my bad luck goal. My bad luck goal. Mother. Screw it, man. I'm going to get a relentless sneak wide, wide shaped wolf. That's the kind of man I am. No second chances. Please give me detonator. Oh. This isn't looking too good. Wow, it's Sunday night and you're at home alone. Logically, he's gonna give it to Caracal. Is it Caracal? 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 Someone please, like, like... He can't even comment how to spell it or how to pronounce it. Someone send me a link to Google Translate of how to say that, please. Am I blocking it anyway? It doesn't persist with the sneak, but the sneak isn't the problem at the moment. I just want to clear his field as quickly as possible. Oh, look at me using big brain words like persist. <laughs> just to clarify, I don't believe that's a big brain word. <laughs> it's not my intellect. I'm going to stop. Show them your teeth. Actually, I was about to say this is stupid. But actually, a better march that has relentless. If this isn't flying the hero, I'm going to assume. Well, I've seen this exact land before. Assumed it was a flying the hero, and it turned out to be a gut flying the hero. So I ain't gonna make too many assumptions. But just in case it is a flying the hero deck, a relentless better marcher is actually not as good as I thought it would be. I forgot that once it comes back from that, it can't block. We both have a terror. That hurts. Like, both mentally and physically. So much. So, so much. I'm gonna have to get the armor off it at some point, so... If you're wondering why I'm making so many stupid mistakes and saying a lot of stupid things, it is because... I'm an idiot. It's the only excuse I got. See that? That's the type of upgrade I've been looking for. Like, it's Sunday night and you're at home all alone type upgrade. Sorry man, I like that song. Mixed messages. Mixed messages. Alright, so... Plus three on his Stoneforge blade is completely terrifying. Plus four on his Stoneforge blade is completely terrifying. That's a five one. That's a 5-2. You were telling me a 5-2 flying is not scary. Especially when I've been an idiot. And... <laughs> I mean, get rid of this armor was an, inve was an investment. Okay, it's not a 5-2 flying. But I don't have any removal spells. What removal spells? I don't. I didn't put any removal in deck. I need grudge match. I figured the removal would be big status, uh, yeah, big status, big stat monsters mixed with, uh, like, for flying removal mixed with Venom Archer. I feel like getting rid of, uh, a blink dog to Willful, this Willful Smith is a bad idea, because I'm going to need blockers. I feel like getting rid of that to that is a bad idea. I feel like this is going to come through as a, a 3 7, and I won't have enough stats to take it out. If this luck keeps persisting, then bloody hell. This became so British, Jesus. Are you, are you actually kidding me, right, Meow? Yeah. I'd rather give that wards. Because I'm blocking with Clone and Tusker on the Willful Smith. I mean, I might as well attack with 
with Venom Archer. Just nice to know that he can't block Venom Archer with a Playful Stain and it kills Venom, Venom Archer. It's, it's nice to know, just because. It just satisfies me that he has to take one damage on his Wilkie Smith. <laughs> take that. Tell free damage, man. It's actually funny that I'm, I've done more damage than this Nahiri. Every turn has been a setup turn. Like, they could have done five damage straight to my face last turn. Like, do they not understand that? Rather than pushing, like, a, a stupid 5-3 on me that I can block. Like, why? Yeah, to clear my field out, but you could just... don't. It don't matter. Like, you had the stats. Thank you. It's gonna make me give it my beast. We'll do it as well. There's no way that I can let that live. This man's on time. Bro, what the hell? Why wouldn't he do that? It's... Why were the relentlesses? Yeah, reach out. Undoubtedly. Let's put it on you. You got relentless. One, one. Ah. Yeah, okay. So yeah, now I don't want to attack with this. Actually, yeah, I do want to attack with this. Because it, it block it with a uh, lingering spirit, and he blocked that with that. Oh, take three damage. So it. Time to strike. That's bad. Does he not? Has he got burned through or something? What? What? Bro, he's on a madness. If I lose to this guy, man, I actually just need to uninstall the game because Jesus Christ, this guy is just. Alright, okay, I'm not gonna disrespect him anymore because it's I think that he's on a like last time I did this and I thought that Nairi was going bad, I lost my entire field and proceeded to get gut fired to death. So I'm just gonna say that this guy is playing five D chess while I'm playing Connect Four. Nah, tic tac toe, noughts and crosses. That's what I'm playing. He's out here planning fucking the fall of such of Dimble Death. Back in 1955, bro. I'm so greedy when I play a Harry. Like so greedy, it's ridiculous. I'm not a Harry, um Vivian. Oh, I'll take that. Oh, I'll take that, I can get detonator. I haven't got too many two on things. I want uh two on one cost creatures. Yeah. I mean, but I feel like it's just better than Dead and They Are. Because I could get a decent. Okay, right. I said I can get a decent upgrade, and I realised, oh yeah, my upgrades this game have not. I mean, the upgrade in that Stoneforge is pretty good, but other than that, I've had wards and relentlesses, which are good, just not when you need to block. Okay, so, whatever he gives it to, I'm unfortunately going to have to sacrifice the life of my Inferno. I mean, but will I though? Yeah, I mean, yeah, the uh, the value of keeping him alive just for that one extra like, artifact like that, other artifact each turn just doesn't feel worth it. Really, game? I mean, look. I'm greedy, so. <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> we just learn your lesson, SJ. Ah. Yeah. I don't learn lessons. I teach them. Yes, yeah, son. What have you learned? Bro, nah, nah. What was that timing? What was that timing? That's ridiculous. Bro said, "What have you learned?" As I said, I don't, I don't. I forgot what I said. <laughs> but I want to take the damage. Like that's the thing. I can't justify taking the damage, but drawing something from my deck and making it mean everything. Okay, no, it has to, it has to be a block, and I have to hope in hell that I manage to get a creature with. Fun. 
Okay, after hoping how I get two creatures with reach or flying, so. <laughs> nah, that's mad. My luck. I disrespected it. And it said, fuck are you. And that's unfortunate because I, I can't. I can't get two creatures with flying now. I like, oh yeah, seven, oh, six, and it can't block. So screw it. Extinction is not an option. I can still live. Why did I buff that? Intimidation bonus. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, son. Huh. 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 What is it good? Absolutely nothing. See, he's gonna block it with the armor, I guarantee it, bro. This guy's on another wavelength. Ah. Oh. Well. The sky absolutely calls. nothing. Say it again. So he's gonna give. This to the fledgling Griff logically, and he wins the game. You're pushing. Inspire them. Yeah. Well, this game has been absurdly long. Three. This match has been absurd. Well, this video has been ridiculously long for two games, so unfortunately, I won't be able to deliver three games this video because that is just ridiculous. I'm not doing like a 30 minute. Video that's not appealing to anyone. Yeah, well, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for getting this far. There's no way in hell that I'm in this game. So, uh, hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. This has been. What? Russian Roulette Vivian, I think I was going to call this. So, uh, thank you for watching. And hopefully, next time, I'll be able to make more than two videos on, uh, on Vivian.